The Life of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle by Chloe Herbie Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was a man with an active life filled with spiritualism, depression, war, family, and travel. Sir Ignatius Conan Doyle was born on May 22, 1895 in Edinburgh, Scotland. His parents were Charles Altamont Doyle, a somewhat successful artist, and Mary Doyle, who Sir Arthur dearly cherished and received his ability to tell stories from. He had seven sisters, Anne Mary Frances Conan, Catherine Amelia Angela, Mary Helena Monica Harriet, Caroline Mary Burton, Constance Amelia Monica, Jane Adelaide Rose, and Brian Mary Julia Josephine, and one brother, John Francis Inez Hay. Catherine and Mary died in their early years. As a youth, he attended a heavily Christian school, stunning her, St. Mary's Hall. As he grew older, Arthur decided to follow a medical career and began to attend the University of Edinburgh. There, he became extremely impressed by one of his professors, Dr. Joseph Bell, whose qualities are seen in Arthur's character, Sherlock Holmes. During his studies, Arthur attempted to write a short story, The Mystery of Sasasa Valley, which was soon published in Chambers' journal. In 1880, Arthur Conan Doyle served as a surgeon on a whaling ship going to Greenland. This event allowed him to grow stronger and influenced him to write Captain of the Pole Star in Dangerous Work. After graduating college, Arthur was hired as a medical officer on the steamer Mayumba, located on the west coast of Africa. When he returned to England, he went to practice in Plymouth, but he had a disagreement with his fellow doctor, which is narrated in the Stark Monroe letters. Arthur then moved to Portsmouth, opening his first practice. In 1886, he started writing A Tangled Skein, which was later published in Beaton's Christmas Annual, under the title of A Study in Scarlet, introducing the character Sherlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson. In 1885, Arthur Conan Doyle married Louisa Hawkins and had with her Mary and Kingsley. In December 1983, in the final problem, Sherlock Holmes fell to his death at Reichenbau Falls. The consequences of Holmes' death included the cancellation of 20,000 subscriptions to the Strand magazine and several Londoners mourning for the fictional character. In May 1891, Conan Doyle became ill with influenza and was almost on the brink of death. After his health improved, he decided to abandon his work as a doctor and became a full-time author. In December 1899, Arthur Conan Doyle decided to enlist as a medical doctor in the Boer War, since he was refused as a soldier. He later wrote in the October of 1900s, The Great Boer War, which was considered a military scholarship's masterpiece that described the British forces during the war. In 1902, King Edward VII knighted Arthur Conan Doyle for his service in the Boer War, but it is also believed that the king was an avid Sherlock Holmes fan. In 1903, to the joy of many Londoners and fans of Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes was resurrected in The Return of Sherlock Holmes. On October 10, 1893, Charles Doyle died of a heart attack in Crichton Royal Institution, where he was sent for alcoholism. On July 4, 1906, Louisa died from tuberculosis after Sir Arthur's failed attempts at curing her. In 1901, before Sherlock's resurrection, The Hound of the Bastervilles was written. It took place in Devonshire, England where Sir Charles Basterville died under mysterious circumstances, which is blamed on his ancestor, Sir Hugo Basterville's curse. Dr. James Mortimer, a friend of the late Sir Charles, asked the famous Sherlock Holmes to look into his case to ensure the safety of the Basterville heir. Sherlock sends his comrade Dr. John Watson out to Basterville Hall to watch over Sir Henry. 
After many expeditions, John becomes acquainted with those living in Devonshire, and he sends word to Sherlock of his suspicions. Sherlock, who is hiding in the moor the majority of the time, reveals himself to John, Sir Henry, and Jack Stapleton. After the Hound attacks Sir Henry, Sherlock, and John, Lestrade shoots it down and reveals that Jack Stapleton is the owner of the Hound. Jack dies on the war during his flee from capture, knowing that he has been found out. Sherlock explains the case to, to John, Sir Henry, and James, and how he reached his conclusion in his office. In 1907, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was married to Jean Lucky, whom he had met in 1897. The couple moved to Sussex, where his writing began to decline until his third child with Jean, a daughter named Jean, was born in 1912. Their other children included Dennis and Adrian. In 1912, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle writes one of the first science fiction no novels titled The Lost World, which became one of his most popular series. It is not the sequel of Jurassic Park. The first book, The Lost World, Professor Challenger No. 1, is told in the perspective of reporter Edward Malone, who wishes to win a woman's hand. He interviews Professor Challenger of Zoology, who takes him on an expedition to wild Brazil to show him how the Jurassic period still exists. They are accompanied by skeptic Professor Summer Lee, Hunter Lord Rochston, and several others. After being stranded on top of a mesa, the company intervenes a war between two hominid groups, earning directions from one of their princes. It ends with the group returning to London, where Malone learns that the woman he loved married. Malone and Rochston agreed to return to their secret prehistoric world for the next book. Throughout World War I, Conan Doyle attempted to assist the British by offering ideas that were deemed Jules Verne-esque. At one point, Winston Churchill wrote him a letter of thanks for Arthur's wish to help. By the end of the war, in November 11, 1918, he discovered that he had lost his son, Kingsley Doyle, a brother, John Doyle, two of his brother-in-laws, Malcolm Lucky and Leslie Oldham, and two of his nephews, Arthur Hornung and Alex Forbes. Due to this loss, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle once more began to gravitate towards the occult and began traveling for research. His strong interest caused him to be titled insane by the press. In 1929, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle was diagnosed with angina pectoris, an illness which caused him to die on July 7th. 1930, due to a heart attack in Crowborough, surrounded by family. Although he is dead, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle will always be remembered as the creator of Sherlock Holmes, whether he prefers it or not. Sherlock Holmes has become a popular idol to use in movies, TV shows, and has been alluded through commentary that we daily make or in other pieces of artwork.